Now, for those of you who don't know chi running, this will be a new material. And those of you who do, this will be remembrance of what you need to do. So once, you're, once you've got your posture nice and tall, then you're ready to move. So don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think, oh, I've got to get my shoes on. I've got to take off. No. Get yourself aligned first. Gathered here, feel your center, and then fall. Align yourself, fall. And be sure that whenever you move, your upper body goes first. Okay? Nice and tall like this, and then your whole body falls. Okay? So that when you fall, as soon as you go off a of vertical, gravity is going to pull you down the road. It's, it's, it's physics. It's simple physics. This is MIT. They should be able to back me up on this one. Okay? So, I, and it's actually, it's fun because I get to tell all my friends, oh, you know what I did last weekend? I taught physics at MIT. <laughs> okay, so, you get your alignment going, keep your feet where they are, and let yourself just fall forward. Nice, easy fall. The more you can allow gravity to pull you, because as soon as you fall, you're a falling object. Gravity's going to, you have a center of mass right over your feet when you're vertical. But if you start to tilt, your center of mass is all of a sudden over here, and it's going to pull down here, and you become a lever arm. Here's your fulcrum. Gravity's pulling down over here. The more you lean, the faster gravity's going to pull. That means that there's this kind of horizontal vector happening. So gravity pulls you down, but you actually move forward. So watch. If I let myself lean in this direction, gravity will pull me in that direction. <laughs> it's not going to pull me some other direction. You want to engage gravity as much as possible. The more you can rely on the pull of gravity, the less you got to do all that training Al was talking about. <laughs> okay? Less time on your legs, less recovery time, less training time. You know? I don't do lunges or squats or all those things. I learn how to master the pull of gravity. And that's where me and the power runners kind of split off. Okay? Because this is really about how to use less and less and less muscle. And the other group is how to get faster and faster by you training and getting stronger using more and more muscle. Both work, but one of them leaves your body living longer, <laughs> feeling better. You can actually have a conversation with somebody after the race. You can, you know. So there's ways that you can do it where you can work on finesse and the leverage, the pull of gravity, or you can train and be really strong and, and push hard. Okay? So this whole thing around learning to fall and master the pull of gravity is what you want to get into as you get out of the transition area. You just want to balance yourself a little bit forward, not very far forward. And that's the tricky part. If you go too far, you'll start feeling it in your lower back or your calves. All right? So if everybody stands up again, say, nobody gets to sit down whenever I give a talk. See? That's not part of the deal. It's not a sit-down lecture. Okay, I want you to go right up to the chair that's in front of you. And if you don't have a chair in front of you, that's too bad. No. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. Those of you who have a chair, or you can share a chair, or uh, use a friend, okay? All I want you to do is check in with your posture, get it nice and tall, straight. Put your hands down close to the chair. And let yourself fall forward and lean into the chair. Okay, good. So your whole body leans from your ankles, not from your waist. Be sure that when you fall, allow yourself to fall forward, that you're not bending at the waist, you're not bending at the neck, you're leaning all the way from your ankles. All the way from your ankles. The rest is straight, because you've got to keep your whole posture line straight, or your body weight will not be supported by that structure. So you've got to keep that straight. So what you want to do is always fall from your ankles. So I just want you to get a feeling of falling from your ankles. Now, if you fall too far, feel what happens. If I'm just standing here and just falling, what happens? What muscles engage? <laughs> calves, okay? This is all about not even using your calves. I never use my calves when I run. I don't care how far I run, I, it's even in uh, hills and trails, I do not use my calves. Have you ever looked at the calves on a Kenyan? How big are they? They're like this. They virtually have no calves. Why? Because 
they don't use them. They don't need them. They don't use them. Okay? So I want everybody to sit down. If you can, if you can use the pull of gravity and learn to balance yourself to where you're not so far forward that you have to engage your calves to hold this lean, and you're not so upright that you have to push yourself with your legs. There's this balance, I call it the window of lean. It's not too far forward, and it's not too upright. So in your training, learn how to sense this little balance point. If you can get it right, then you can lean forward without tensing your calves to hold that angle. It's balance, it's all done by balance. And as you get stronger in your core, you can balance yourself a little further forward. Hold more of a lean. The more lean, the more speed. Speed has nothing to do with your legs. <laughs> so, you know, all the chi running clinics going on here today, tomorrow I'm gonna be teaching in advanced clinics for people who've already taken the, the first one last year in past years. It's all about really not using your legs at all. So as you get into the transition, you start running off into the run, Take your time. Start off with a short stride, a low gear, okay? Make the gears easy. The shorter your stride, the you know, the easier it is on your body. Just get your turnover going. Al talked about the difference between stride length and cadence, okay? I'm a big believer in constant cadence. Whatever your cadence is on the bike, if it's 90, your steps when you're running should be 90. If it's 85, your steps when you're running should be 85 all the time, always 85 doesn't change. If you go faster, you lean more, and as you lean more, if you're relaxed, your stride opens up more. So you do get a longer stride when you go faster with the chi running technique. If your stride doesn't get longer, your legs have to turn over faster, and that means you have to have more quad strength to turn your legs over faster.